Coach Guest. Talk to us a little bit about last week's game against the reigning state champ, Savannah Christian. Uh, it was a great game. Um, you know, uh, bottom line is what we talk about all the time is if uh, players come out and execute and um, execute what coaches have drawn up, what we've worked on all week long, then we have a chance to win each and every week. And that's what happened. It's great execution. Um, you know, really, really proud of the way, uh, you know, Dalton stepped up. Um, you know, we threw more last week. Uh, Keontae's out. So, hey, we're going to rely on our skill positions on the perimeter. Um, and that's what Savannah Christian was giving us. And it was nice to be able to uh, have a quarterback and uh, have skilled players who, okay, when they're giving us the pass, we can take it. Um, so they did a tremendous job. And, uh, you know, our defense played extremely well. I think we only gave up about 125 yards of offense. And uh, we were really scared of their offense going into the game. Um, you know, special teams played well. Uh, so it's just really great overall effort. It's great to be able to play a program like Savannah Christian and, uh, and, and come out with a victory. What does it mean for Elk as a program to beat the reigning state champs? I think it's important. And I think, you know, every time you win a playoff game, it's a big deal. Um, you know, everybody always thinks about state championship and you got to get there and you got to get there and you got to get there. You know, every time you win a playoff game, it's important and it's a big deal. And then, you know, you're playing, you're playing Savannah Christian in the quarterfinals. Um, you know, and it was just a huge win. Our kids came to play and, um, everybody did well and, you know, it was an exciting atmosphere. And, and that's the goal is, is, is to come out and do your best and play your best and to win that game. And, um, and, and that's what happened. And then looking forward to George Walton this week, what is, what's the game plan? The game plan for George Walton, we really feel like, you know, obviously George Walton is an extremely talented football team. I, I really feel this. I feel like George Walton and us are the most talented teams in single A when you talk about kids that are going to go off to play college football and things like that. But we all know that that doesn't win football games. Um, I think the key, the first thing that I think about, if we're going to beat George Walton, is we have to stop their running back, Stanley Williams, who's a University of Georgia commit for the class of 2014, and he's a special player. Um, we have to stop him. And he's going to get yards, but we cannot give him the big play. That, that is their fuel that energizes their team. They're, they're waiting on him to, to make a spectacular play, and we have to eliminate that. I think. And then when you go to the um, offensive side of the ball, you know, we have got to execute. We want to wear them down. A lot of their kids play both ways. We want to wear them down. We want to kind of use tempo. Uh, you know, not that we're going to be Oregon or anything like that, but we want to run, try to run 10 to 12 more plays than we would actually in a regular game so that their players get tired. And then those, those defensive linemen who are going to go to the offensive side of the ball, they're going to wear down. They're going to stop blocking. Um, that's the goal, you know. Um, you know, they're a, they're a very tough football team. They're tough kids. I'm not saying that they're going to fold. Your body can only do what your body can do. Um, so hopefully in the third and the fourth quarter, we will be in a position to where we can uh, win because um, more of their kids are going both ways than ours. Uh, special teams, you know, neither team, both teams just execute special teams. I haven't seen trick plays uh, from, from them in all the games I've watched, you know, and obviously they're not going to see trick plays from us. Um, so it's just bottom line, it's just executing on special teams and doing what we're supposed to do. So, um, you know, it just comes down to a game where, you know, uh, I think it's going to come down to the third and fourth quarter and uh, which, which team is, is in better shape. And then also looking at last year's semifinals and this year's semifinals, mentally what changes? I, you know, I don't, I don't I know. I know we've been more focused. Um, it's kind of new to us last year. Uh, a lot of people, you know, and including, you know, who can't, you start looking ahead to what if we go to the Dome? What if this? What if that? What if that? Well, in reality, the Dome doesn't exist. You know, that, that, that game doesn't exist. The only thing we can control is what we're doing today, you know, and, and we got to have a great practice today. And, um, you know, we have to have a great game um, tonight, you know. So uh, that's the only thing that we can control. Um, you know, we've had a successful season. We're 11 and 1. We won the region championship for a third year in a row. Uh, our seniors have been extremely successful around around here. To be in the semifinal game is an ext is is a great accomplishment. So whether we win or lose, we've accomplished a lot. You know, and, and uh, so I think that perspective. Hey, we're going to win the day. You know, we're going to go out uh, tonight and we're going to play our best and we're going to give everything we have and we're going to lay it all on the line. We're not going to have any regrets. And then win or lose, we're going to hold our head high and we're going to carry, our, carry ourselves with class in a Christian manner. We're going to represent Jesus Christ. That's all that matters. And, um, you know, if we win, great. 
You know, if we lose, great. It's not, it's not great, but hey, we've had a great year. And I think that's the perspective. You can't, you know, that's the difference between this year and last year. Last year we were so consumed with our reputation and, you know, our, our ranking and this and that. And in reality, none of that stuff matters and none of that stuff lasts. All that matters is going out there and playing your hardest and doing your best and, and glorifying the Lord with your play and holding your head high, win or lose. And then lastly, and in closing, what would it mean to the program if we were to win the game and go to a state championship? What would that mean to Elka? I don't know if it means anything. Uh, I think it's everybody wants to. I mean, I know that every one of us want to go to a state championship, and we're all excited about it. Uh, but I know for I've been here for six years, and we've never gone to the Dome, and every year we've gotten better. Um, we've become a more and more dominant team each and every year. So I don't know if that – takes your program and, and puts it on the next next step. You know, uh, high school football is different than college football. Um, you know, I can't go out and recruit players because we went to the state championship or anything like that. But um, I just think it's, it's it just be an exclamation mark on a great season. You know, I think it would be really exciting for our school. I don't think it's, it would do wonders for our program, um, you know, because at the end of the day, the boys that are coming back next year have to get in the weight room when the football season's over with, and they have about nine months of hard work they have to do so they can be successful next football season. But I don't want to diminish. We all want, we all want a chance to play in a state championship. It, it'd be really, really, really great and exciting for our school and all, you know, just everybody involved. And I mean, that's what I want. That's why, you know, I don't want to, that's why I want to go to the state championship, not for what it'll do. Um, from an overall football standpoint. All right, thank you.